Let's learn subject and predicate. Parts of a sentence, subject and predicate. Every sentence is made up of two parts. Let's look at the sentence. A policeman appeared on the scene. What is this sentence about? It is about a policeman. So, a policeman is the first part of the sentence. The second part says something about a policeman appeared on the scene. The first part of the sentence that names what the sentence is about is called the subject. The second part of the sentence that says something about the subject is called the predicate. The subject often says who or what performs the action that the verb refers to. In statements, the subject is usually placed before the predicate. In the sentence, this story is very interesting. Subject is this story. Is very interesting is predicate. But Sometimes, for the sake of emphasis, this order may be reversed. For example, Ranjit stood in a corner of the room. This is a normal order. But if the order is changed for emphasis, the sentence becomes as In a corner of the room stood Ranjit. Subject in imperative sentences. In imperative sentences, the subject is always you. But the subject is not stated. It is implied. Let's see the two sentences. Wait outside. Take this medicine every four hours. These sentences actually mean you must wait outside. You should take this medicine every four hours. Now it is clear that in both these sentences the subject is you. In imperative sentences the subject is always you but it is implied and not stated. In questions and exclamations, the word order is slightly changed and the subject is not placed first. So, in order to find out the subject, it is also helpful to write these sentences as statements. Let's see examples. Have they bought the books? In order to find the subject, we may write this sentence as they have bought the books. Now we can easily see that the subject is they. Second sentence, how nice you are. We may write this sentence as you are nice. The subject is you. What a stupid answer she gave may be written as she gave a stupid answer. In this, the subject is she. To find the subject in a question or exclamation, write the given sentence as a statement. Let's see other sentence. Are you blind? Now, this question form can be written in a statement form. You are blind. So the subject is you and predicate is are blind. Let's see other sentence. Tell me the story of their creation. Now this sentence is imperative sentence. So the subject will be you. What an interesting story you have told me. Now let us change it into a statement 
you have told me an interesting story so the subject is you in this sentence now there is a workout of 10 sentences thanks for watching